Right, so I'm going to run you through my favourite rig that I use in the winter. A lot of people think during the winter time that you can't catch fish shallow. And it's amazing how many times I've had some brilliant days fishing in the winter, catching shallow. A place like Western Pools is brilliant for that, where there's a lot of hide, a lot of silver fish in your peg. They come up and they also bring the F1s up shallow. You can have a brilliant end to your match fishing shallow, so I'd never rule it out even in the winter. And I'm just going to show you the exact rig what I use for winter shallow fishing. The float, you want to have a really light little dinky float for this. It's minimal shot down the line, nice slow fall, just tricks them wary fish in the cold weather. 4B8 RW winter Maggie, absolutely perfect for that. Nice fine tip, doesn't take a lot of shot, but still nice and strong, so that if you do catch a lot of F1s late on, it's not going to let you down. Main line, one thing I find when I'm using lighter floats is using a slightly lighter main line helps your rig behave nicely. So what you tend to find with like light floats, sometimes you struggle to get it to set through the water or it might skim very easily. So by using a nice light main line, it helps with that and it just helps it fish well. So I've just scaled down instead of my usual 015 on this rig, I'm using 013 N gauge. So still nice and durable. I still in the winter with a nice balanced setup, you still never have a problem with this main line breaking or anything like that. But it just allows your float to fish a little bit nicer. So I'm just going to cut the end of the line just so I can get my silicon on easy enough. And the silicon I'm going to use, this is one of the vital parts of this rig actually, the silicon is I'm using 0.3 Guru Micro Silicon, which is the one I use for a lot of my floats. But the reason why it's so important on this rig, again, because it's such a light float, sometimes it does struggle to cut through the surface tension. And having a nice thin silicon like this just helps with that. And it just beats the surface tension and settles up very nicely. So... I'm going to cut three pieces of silicon again as usual. Two shorter ones, one a bit longer. I'm going to thread them on. Now, one thing with this rig, like I say, is it can struggle to beat the the surface tension. And now, Obviously, using this silicon is very important, but somewhere else what I'm going to do, which also helps, is I'm going to just put a small shot underneath the float on this. So I might actually do that before I tie my loop, so I can, when I slide my float up, I'll slide that little shot up as well. And this float basically takes four or five number 12s, depending on sort of, you know, what bait you're using. Usually single double maggot you can normally get away with five number 12s but i have even at times caught using this float with pellets four mil pellets when fishing deeper sh uh, shallow so i also uh sometimes you know you might have to take a shot off depending on what bait you're using but we'll start with five number 12s so put the final piece of silicon on this silicon being quite thin is a little bit more fiddly to get on, but it's worth it for the way your rig presents. Will definitely make a big difference in getting your float to cock nice and quickly through the surface tension. So float's nice secured on the line. And like I said, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put a number 12, which is going to sit underneath the float. That one's a little bit irregular. Pick up another one. I'm just going to squeeze that on. And a lot of people can be a bit worried about moving the shot around on, on like lightish main lines. But I tend to find as long as you put them on using pliers and you slide it nice and gently, then you don't have any problems. One good tip that can be really good if you are having problems with the line burning or any marks like that if you've got any pole elastic lubricant if you bring a bottle of it in and just spray some in a little dish or some on a piece of cardboard or something and just dip your shot in that before you slide it up it does stop your main line from burning so if you are worried that's a good tip but some 
I don't tend to worry about too much because I never have a problem really with my main line breaking. As long as you slide it up nice and gradual, you won't have an issue. So I'm just going to slide it nice and slowly up underneath the float. And the line's not damaged at all there. You can't see any flat spots or anything like that. So I'm not too worried. Now, I'm going to attach it onto the other pin on the rig, mate. So I need to tie a, tie a loop. So I've got my census loop tire. Two turns on that. And that just creates a nice little loop at the bottom of the rig. If you haven't got one of these census loop ties or you just tie it by hand, it is something I would really recommend because it creates a really, really strong knot and it creates a really neat and uniform knot every time. Something I wouldn't be without when I'm making rigs. So I'm going to attach it onto the pin. And now, like I say, this float takes five number 12s. So obviously I've got that one underneath the float just to semi cock my float. And I'm going to have four more down the line. So normally I just sort of roughly um, spread the shot out. I don't have a set shotting pattern for this because it varies on what depth I'm fishing. So usually I just sort of like to keep them in the bottom third of the rig. So I'm normally putting maybe four or five centimetres apart to begin with. And then when I get on the bank, I will... Uh, just fine tune it and get it set how I want it. These are really nice versatile floats, these. I, I can literally use them from 18 inches deep up to three or four foot deep. So they do cover a lot of your winter sort of shallow fishing, be it for roach as well. Fishing silverfish matches, I use them a lot for that. Or if you'd sometimes, you know, catching big weights of F1s in the winter when they come up shallow. Final shot on. Like I say, just roughly sp space them out. Five, four to five centimetres apart. That's basically my shotting pattern. And now that, with the five number 12s on, does pretty much shot it perfect straight away when you add a double maggot to it. So I don't need to add any trimmers to this. I don't tend to use trimmers on my shallow rigs. So normally I would build a few number 13s into most of my rigs. But on this one, that's just completed now. So that's ready to go. Dead simple. Five number 12s, one under the float, four down the line. Now I'm going to wrap it up on my winder. And I'm still going to make this to a full match kit length even though it's a shallow rig i normally do like to tie it up quite long in the winter because i quite like having quite a long line between float and pole tip so tying it extra long i can always cut it down later in the session if i feel needs be but what i don't like doing is cutting them too short and then wishing i had a little bit longer a line so 14 lengths of one of these rewinders measures up to about the length of my Daiwa match kit. So that's the length that I always make it to. So that's one, two like that. So I'm just going to keep wrapping it round. Four, five, six, eight, ten, twelve. 14. Measure me line up to the top of the winder. Tie a loop in the end. Pull it tight. Trim it off. And that's literally my winter shallow rig complete. Really, really simple. But then few key components. That little shot under the float. The few you know the light silicon so that it cuts through the water and just getting them shot so they're in the bottom third of the rig will just get that rig set in lovely and you'll catch loads and loads of fish shallow in the winter this is one of them rigs that i might set up every single match i go out fishing and if i don't use it don't catch on it wrap it back up on my winder but on the odd day when you do catch on it it's a real match winner in winter and some i'd never this, you know, I'd never ever disregard shallow fishing, even middle of winter.